My name is Adam Wachuku and you are on Tina Talk Show, Bridging the Gap. I am bringing to you today a special guest by the name Praise God Onyewe. She's a young contestant, contestant for the young mayor of Lucian. She believes that she's the right candidate for this position for, of uh, young mayor of Lucian 2019. Join me as well as I will be exploring her ideas and the reason why she believes that she's the right person to vote for. Yeah, hello, my name is Adam Wachiko and you are on Tina Talk Show. Uh, today with me I have a special guest who has come to, um, you know, to talk about something that's very important and I'm very pleased and privileged to be presenting her on Tina Talk Show. Um, it's by the name um, um, Praise God. Praise God is a young male contestant of Luisha. She's from uh, Sergio secondary school she's here with me to talk about uh you know to give us the reason and believe uh, why she is going for the young mayor of the borough of Lucia, as uh you know we will be exploring this with with her um thank you so much praise god yeah. it's a pleasure to have you, you. to come on tina talk show yes and also faith abu Thank you also for coming to Tina Talk Show. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you. My first question to you is, is because obviously how a lot of people will look at you and wonder how old is she that she kind of like uh, want to go into this, uh, this area of uh, politics, mm -hmm. you know, to become the young mayor of the, uh, of the borough of Lewisham. Can you tell us a little bit background of yourself? Um, originally, I'm from Nigeria. Okay. I was born there. I only came to this country six years ago. Six years ago? Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Um, While you were growing up, did you at any point thought about becoming, uh, you know, uh, going into becoming a mayor or uh, an influential person in the society? While you were growing up, did you ever, did you ever cross your mind? Not really when I was younger in Nigeria, but when I came here and mm. I heard about it in year seven, mm. I was like, oh, I want to do this one day. But when I thought about that, I was just kidding, joking that, oh, maybe one day when I get to year 10, I'm going to do it. But now that I'm here, I can't believe I'm actually doing it. Now, what was happening in your school that kind of like uh, inspired you to say, you know what, I need to go into this, this contest. You know, what were your inspiration? What inspired me from my school is that we've been doing this every year and then every year we have someone to mm. go and be young mayor and either that the person is a young mayor or deputy, there's never been someone less than that. And I wanted to test myself to see if I can join those people to say, oh, praise God was young mayor or deputy young mayor and make my school proud. Wow. And I want to improve not only my school, but all the schools in Lewisham. Wow, amazing. Yeah, I'm going to come to you, um, Miss, Miss Faith Apple. Now, for how long have you known, known the, contestant, the contestant? I need praise God, like around three years since we started the school. Three years ago. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about yourself, like, you know. About myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, do, do, do you attend the same school? Yeah, I attend the same school as Praise God. We both go to a Chell school. Yeah. So I understand that you support, you're kind of a supporter, you kind of like want to help push, push that vision for her. You know, uh, you know what, what is it that she's doing different? You know, how you believe that she is the best person to win this election? I believe, praise God, is the best person to do this is because um, she's determined to do, um, she's determined for change and she wants to inspire people, people like me, her friends, mm. to do good, like... She wants to make the message, say a message across the whole borough of Lewisham so that they can move in. 
Mm, so you've had like a conversation and is it true, you know, how is she in terms of her, you know, education and how is she doing, punctuality and all that, are, are, they, are there these elements that you've seen in her that made you think, hmm, I think, yeah. Um, her punctuality is good, 100% in everything, all her grades, 100%, her punctuality, no name marks, no demerits, nothing. She's um, spotless, she is really, really good at all her studies. Um, I think she'll make a perfect candidate for young male. Yeah, I like that because I'm sure, and, and that also, now let's go back to our male, you know, future male to be. What challenges, you know, she just mentioned, you know, the areas why she really believed that you are the right candidate mm -hmm. for this, you know, for this position. Now, what were the challenges that you had, you had during this time? you know, that you were going through, did you like, with, with the exams, tests? During this campaign? Yeah, in this campaign. Um, not much challenges, because I haven't really started my exams yet, but okay. there has been like homework struggles, mm. and to be honest, not everybody is going to believe that you can do it. There are going to be some people that say, oh, that you shouldn't do it, but I don't let that hold me down from the people who actually believe in me, mm. because there are more of them than the naysayers. Wow. Did you have any competition like uh, with other students for this position? Yes. So how, how was it like? Originally there were seven of us. Okay. So from, from, from the yes. whole school? No, yeah, from the whole school, yes. Um, and a, a man came to our school and explained what it was going to be about. Seven of us wanted to do it. We had to get 50 signatures in order to move on to the next round. Only five of us could do that because we only had two days to do it. And then we had to bring our speeches to our head of year, head of the whole school and a system. And they had to sit there and we had to see our speech to them. Hmm. And then on, I think it was a Friday, yeah, Friday, maybe three weeks, two weeks ago, they chose me out of the five. Out of the five? Yeah. I'm just in my, trying to picture that moment where everyone has to sign. Yeah. You know, up to 50. Yeah. Did you have like sleepless night, praying yeah. about yeah. it? You know, tell me about that experience. You don't, you feel um, kind of confused and like a bit stressed because you don't know if people, if you go to someone and they say, oh, I don't want to sign for exactly. you. Exactly. Or if they like you, it's like exactly. a test. It, it, it becomes like a test mm -hmm. of who likes me, how yeah, many exactly. people like me in this school. Yeah. Fortunately, I was able to get, I had two days, I got 25 signatures on the first day and then the next day I got the next 25 so it was split equally. Seriously, that's yeah. amazing. So yeah. now you can see that, you know, it's an example for you to know that you've been admired and mm -hmm. been um, liked, you know, by people. So did you have, was there like any point where you thought, mm, what if I don't get it? Yes, yeah. there were lots of points when I had that thought. Um, at the beginning, I was I doubted myself a little bit to get the paper in order to get the 50 signatures because mm. I wasn't sure if people were going to like me. Mm. And then when I said my speech, we had to wait the very next day. I did not sleep that night because if I had not gotten in, I would have been a little bit disappointed, but I would have known that, oh, I tried and I, I can bring myself forward to do this thing. But when I got chosen, it was, I was so excited, so wow. hand shocked. I'm just imagining what did you, you know, the hard work you put into that. Mm -hmm. did, you have, did you have to kind of like practice your speech? I've been practicing, there's no day I don't practice my speech. I practice it. You like did research, yeah. check about, about you know, f f few things. And what did you, did you have to experience this with her? Yeah, I helped her um, like try to memorize the, the speech. Okay. I also like, I was kept helping her. There's always, you know, yeah. some people that just come with you, believe in your vision. Wow! So you helped her out in that in that area. So that's the, the big a big supporter and believe in in your in your in your vision. You know, in wanting to become the mayor, the young mayor of uh, the borough of Lewisham, mm -hmm. can you tell us what do you understand? Because you said you're just six years old. I mean, six years old in UK, like since you came yeah. from Africa, Nigeria. Yeah. Um, tell us about Lewisham. Lewisham is, a, is, in my opinion, I've been here six years. I'm not good. It's a great area. Mm. I don't know why some some stereotypes saying that it's not a good area, 
but I've been here and I've experienced him. It's a nice area. My grandparents lived here. My mom was actually born here and then she oh, went back to Nigeria and had me. And then, so I've, I have a good connection with Louisha because most of my family members grew up here. So what do you think about what she said about Louisha? I think that, um, that she's correct about it, even though she lived here for like six years. Most people will say that, oh, Louisha is bad, Louisha is this and that, but some aspects in Lewisham are actually kind of good. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and we can see that. That is the one side of it. What about the, the other side? Are there any downfall of Lewisham, yes. you know, that you want to tell us? Unfortunately, there's always a downside to everything. That's true. In Lewisham, we unfortunately have an increase in knife crime and mm. violence. Mm. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to become young mayor because I feel that I can actually change because I'm talking like I'm, I'm not going to actually do it but with the strength of my campaign team, my parents, everyone, even God, I believe that I can lower the knife crimes and violence in this country, in this that is that is a strong mm -hmm. strong faith like strong yeah. word you know you know uh, good that you just said that because I was going to ask you you know uh, why do you want to become the young mayor of Lewisham you've just touched on it uh, because you know it's one thing to say you want to become yes. something but another thing is what are the ideas uh, you, you know what if you are to win right now, if you are to win, what is it that you would do different yes. from the previous young mayor of Lewisham? What I would do different is other young mayor have been talking about youth clubs and things like that. I want to actually help out with healthcare in Lewisham, like mental health, like, like depression, sexual health, etc. Also, um, security arms like police or ex, um, ex knife crime holders mm. can come to the school to actually tell the kids oh this is what it is it's not good for you you shouldn't do it because if an experienced person came to the school to talk about it the kids will be like oh if this person actually experienced it then it's it's not good for a person to go through something like this because this is where they end up and it's wow. not a good thing you know, your voice counts yeah. you know so what do you say uh, Faith Abu about this what is going on in Lewisham? I think that um, that we should lower the rate of knife crime and that um, as praise God said that bring ex um, knife holders in because they can influence the people that um, might lead to the wrong path like yeah if you are to ask what are your strategies or your ideas of how we can they can get this people because not all of them want to come out yes. to kind of like yeah I had a gun before you know so what is your plan for that or your idea suggestion for the government it's going to yes it's going to be tricky to find them but with the police help and like most of them some of them would want to come out and tell their story because to them they want people to know about this so what we could do is like contact those people that want to tell their story mm. because we don't want to force anything on anyone to make them feel uncomfortable. The people that want to tell their story, we could leave like a website on for them to like say, oh, do you want to come to schools and talk to the children if you are an ex knife holder or something? So that they decide if they want to do it. No one forces them to come and do it. Stay tuned because I'm going to be introducing another guest, a special guest who would be exploring more with the contestant. Maze TV is an online entertainment television platform which proudly boasts of being the home of African entertainment that connects African communities overseas. Ranging from music, videos, gossip, politics from Africa and beyond. Our main aim revolves around media consultancy, production, entertainment, communication, sales, production of goods, services, and advertisements. We aim to meet the needs of an increasingly dynamic and connected audience across the globe by providing affordable premium content to ATV Network. 
Amaze TV is a distinctly African and international TV company premised on the concept of TV everywhere and anywhere. Join Amaze TV, the heart of Africa. Yes, welcome uh, viewers. Uh, thanks so much for tuning back on. So, my next guest is Onye Charles. Onye Charles, thank you so much for coming to Tina Talk Show. Thank you for having me. Yes, yeah, it's a pleasure. Uh, how long have you known, known the, co the contestant? Well, I've known Prince God for three years because my sister and her used to be, well, they are still best friends. And when I was in primary school, I always used to see Prince God and she, yeah, we used to talk and hang out together. Did, did you get to find out about, about the, you know, her going into this, uh, her idea about going becoming the young mayor of well, Wisham? when I found out she was going to be a prefect, um, I voted for her. Oh, a prefect? Yes. Yeah, so, so she, are you a prefect? I'm also a prefect. You're also a prefect? Yeah. Why do you to say that? That's <laughs> a, that, you know, those, you should, those are the criteria, those are the, I think, the criteria yeah. that, you know, they, they must have looked at. So. Okay, so you voted for her at that point. Yeah, so when I saw the sheet, when she wanted to be young mayor, I was um, proud, I was happy. So I asked all my friends to vote for her. Why do you think um, that she is the right person to win this election? I think that Prince God is the right person to win this election because she's very nice and caring and she cares about our community and always wants to help people out and she never gives up. She's just a brave, young, 14-year-old, and she's just really nice. So her character you know, has demonstrated for you that she's the right person to win the election. Yes. Um, Onyine Charles, thank you so much for that uh, contribution. And as you have heard, Onyine Charles has been with her for quite some time. She believes that Praise God is the right candidate for this election. And I will be bringing up again another guest who also believe that Praise God is the right contestant. Welcome to Amaze TV, home of African entertainment. Are you looking for a creative space in London? Well, here at Amaze TV, we have all your needs photo shoots, video shoots, music video, or rehearsal space. We have this big studio just for your use. We also have various backgrounds that give you different settings and also different views. That's not all. Follow me. You see at Amaze TV, you is always for choices. We have this amazing office space for office settings and business meeting. Whatever you want, we got you covered. The last but definitely not the least, we've got an amazing suit. In this room, we've got all the facilities for all your editing, ranging from short films, feature films, documentary, talk shows, music and videos, you name it, we've got it covered. But of course, if you want to skip all the editing and straight to life, We've got all the facilities for you to do that. Amaze TV, creativity with a difference. And you can find out more about Amaze TV on our Instagram page at amazetv.network, our Facebook page at Amaze TV, our website www.atvbase.live. Yeah, welcome back to Tina Talk Show. Uh, if you are just tuning in, um, I have a special guest here discussing about her campaign uh, in becoming the young mayor of the Lewisham Borough, competing for that. And I have a special guest who has joined us. Precious Charles, thank you so much for coming to Tina, coming on Tina Talk Show. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure having you. Now, um, you have heard what uh, your, um, you know, praise God, you know, competing, uh, you know, in, in, a role, in a role in the race to becoming the young mayor of Lewisham. Uh, for how long have you known her? Well, we've known for three years. For three years. Yeah. Tell me why you believe, why do you believe that praise God is the right candidate for this? I believe that praise God 
is going to be the best candidate because she's always caring for other people and she never gives up and she always likes to help out with people yeah mm -hmm. you know during the time you've known her you know has there been you know characteristics or behavior or something that made you think she is the right person she always likes to study hard and she always works hard and she never um, gives up. During her, you know, selection for becoming the young mayor, did you, were you there? Did you know her challenges like as a friend? Like did you see what she was going through? Yes. What was that? Well, she was nervous. She was nervous. Yeah, but I kept on telling her that it's going to be okay. Just work hard that I'm always going to be there for you. Oh, isn't that so sweet? Oh, that's nice. So you empowered her, you encouraged her, you know, in everything we need, we all need that one person. Just like you said, yeah. at the beginning, you didn't know that you can do it. Yeah. You know, it takes the community, it takes your friends. Yeah. You know, um, Faith Abu was there, uh, you know, uh, Onyinye and our Precious, and I'm sure there's a lot of other friends who are who are not able to make it today, who really gave you that push that we all really, really need when, when, when it comes to things like this. You know? Now, if somebody's watching right now and they want to hear from you directly, what would you tell them? Um, my name is Praise God Onyeme. And I am the only candidate representing my school, which is Sedge Hill, to be the next young mayor of Lewisham. The election day will be on the 16th of October. If you are living in Lewisham, but are not schooling in Lewisham, this means you're going to have to do a postal vote. Basically, you have to send your ad address to the Lewisham Council, and then they will give you a, they will send to you a postal vote paper and then you have to tick who you want to be as your next young mayor and all the other paperwork and send it back to them. You need to do this though before the 3rd of October because on the 4th that's when postal votes close because it takes a while for them to post it. And then if you're schooling in Lewisham, this, this means that you just have to go to your school on that day and then one by one you should come out of your classes to take who you want to be as your next young mayor. You have two choices, not the same people. Two people one person can't take both slots. You choose who you want to be and then you choose your second vote. Even if you have someone in mind for your first vote, I can still be your second vote because every vote does count. Even second votes do count. So please vote for me. Now, uh, what plans do you have? Tell the audience what plan you have in place. That, to encourage them to vote for you? I'm trying my best to help the Lewisham community, especially for the young people, because I'm young myself, I know what's going on in the Lewisham community. If I am elected as young mayor of Lewisham, I will, I will, I will address the following listed points like healthcare, we will talk about that. Secondly, security arms will come to, your, to schools to talk to the students about dangers associated with knife crimes. This is to give them general knowledge and to help keep the students safe. Opinion boxes will be kept in schools for suggestion and act as feedback. And first aid courses will be available for young people for them to be effectively trained and equipped to help themselves when necessary. I believe I can deliver because I am honest and hardworking. We are the future and the future depends on our actions. So please vote for me. Thank you. You have heard, you have heard, praise God, you know, among many other plans that she has in stock for the, uh, you know, if you, if she, if she wins for, um, for the young mayor of Lewisham, among many other plans is bringing um, one of, you know, like someone who had had experience with gun knife crimes or in any area of the issues that Lewisham is facing that is not pleasant, you know, she's encouraging, she has, you know, plans that if you vote her, she will unveil them for you. Thank you so much, um, uh, everybody, for, for, for watching your host, Adama Chuku on MS TV.
The Maze TV is an online entertainment television platform which proudly boasts of being the home of African entertainment that connects African communities overseas. Ranging from music, videos, gossip, politics from Africa and beyond. Our main aim revolves around media consultancy, production, entertainment, communication, sales, production of goods, services and advertisements. We aim to meet the needs of an increasingly dynamic and connected audience across the globe by providing affordable premium content to ATV Network. Amaze TV is a distinctly African and international TV company premised on the concept of TV everywhere and anywhere. Join Amaze TV, the heart of Africa. Welcome to Amaze TV, home of African entertainment. Are you looking for a creative space in London? Well, here at Amaze TV, we have all your needs photo shoots, video shoots, music video, or rehearsal space. We have a big studio just for your use. We also have various backgrounds that give you different settings and also different music. That's not all. Follow me. You see at Amaze TV, you will spot us for choices. We have this amazing office space for office settings and business meeting. Whatever you want, we got you covered. The last, but definitely not the least, we've got an amazing suit. In this room, we've got all the facilities for all your editing, ranging from short films, visual films, documentary, talk shows, music and videos, you name it, we've got it covered. But of course, if you want to skip all the editing and straight to life, We've got all the facilities for you to do that. And this TV, creativity with a difference. And you can find out more about Amaze TV on our Instagram page at amazetv.network, our Facebook page at amazetv, our website www.atvbase.live.